One minute left. Here we go. It's almost near the begin. It's a game show. Ah, it's about to start. 20 seconds left. 21, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Let's see a flash. Well, why did it do that? 10, 9. Why is it doing that? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we have one minute left. Here we are, 59, 58, 56, 57, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 46, 44, 44, now it's 44, 45, 44, 39, yeah, I'm just counting down without looking at it apparently. Yeah, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go! Oh, this again. I don't want to read this against the least lines. Yep, I get it. It's still ridiculous how all that's going on right now. Yeah, I don't like talking about politics. All the programs have been I just don't like politics. Lady Death. Ah, thanks for that host. What's going on right now on the screen? Ah, thanks for that host, Lady Death. What the heck was all that? Those are a few years. Dream show is like, ah, I saw so grabbing somebody just now. Oh, the world premiere. World premiere. Real premiere. Uh oh. What's could this be? I'm just, are they just gonna show a bunch of game trailers? Is it? Oh, like, what is this? A work in progress. Whoa, that was loud. Oh. What? That looks like Killing Floor. That is loud. Yeah, this looks like Killing Floor. Unreal Engine. Wait, the way the axe looks, the way everything looks in first person. Yes, five. Where is this? What? Going down a holiday with a gun. New play review. Summer 2020. Ah! Holy crap! Yeah, this looks like Killing Floor. Similar. Is it in the Killing Floor universe? A like tripwire? What's well, being showed by this? It's a goof show. Quantum Error. Why did that look like Killing Floor? Like Killing Floor 2. Quantum Error. Unless it's made by the same Google? I have no idea. Quantum QuantumAir.com So I'd have to look up more about it That's pretty cool Huh How about that? Interesting I'm not kidding, that literally looks like Killing Floor Similar It's a horror game Of course Hello and welcome to the Future Hello. Games Show What a way to start right? I am Nolan North And many of you may know Hello me. Nolan I'm North ghost from Destiny, or perhaps Dr. Edward Richards from the Call of Duty series, or even, you know, the Penguin from the Arkham series. Oh my gosh. Okay, huh. Nolan, we get What's it, we get it. You've done a that, million hundred That's funny. Movies. We got it. Right, right. Of course, that most of you know Nathan Drake from Uncharted, where you probably oh. recognize that voice. I'm so happy to be working alongside her again as we host huh. this showcase of upcoming games. Please, give it up. And welcome, the lovely and talented Miss Emily Rose. Hey, Nolan. Hello. Something wrong with Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome from my home. Hello. To yours. I'm really excited yep. about what we have in store for you today. 
as PlayStation My microphone picking up something else. X draw near. We're going to be talking to leading game developers to see what we really can expect from the future of games. Plus, we have a host of exclusive game reveals, oh. uh, world premieres, well, like my microphone was pick, demos my from current microphone and next-gen consoles. Something else. I, and some of these are so secret, even I haven't been told about them. Yet. Hmm? Wait, they didn't tell you about them? What, they told you? No, like they really didn't tell you about them? I think people are playing favorites. Because, I mean, I have the whole, well, I have the whole list right in front of me right there. Whatever. Send them to me. Uh, let, and huh. let's get into the good stuff. Funny. Okay, so I expect the next to know everything. title is from Red Thread Games. They're this little mm. indie studio in Norway. God, I love, I love Norway. You might know them from their mm. Choice and Consequence series, Dreamfall Chapters. So get ready for the world exclusive my, premiere. My microphone my picking up my headphones. Trouble trousers. Ah! World premiere. Oh, it's a world premiere. What is this? Ah, I threw that out of truffle trouser. One, two, three, four. What the heck is this? That looks like Telltale games or something. There's no hope. No, like, ah. Somewhere in America. Yeah, it's like another Telltale game or something. No problem. Yeah. Thanks. What? Yeah, every time I do that. What the heck? Yeah, alright, it's just uh, everyone inside a bus. Looks like they're kind of playing music. No, they're just listening to music. They are. What is this? Kind of like Borderlands reminds me of a little bit. This is Borderlands. We already have Borderlands 3. Of course it's not. What? Unless it's a DLC for Borderlands. No, it's not. I don't think so. That same little art style as Borderlands a little bit. Or was it like, you know, the Walking Dead Telltale? Yeah, it looks almost like Borderlands. A view about hope. Friendship, love, road trips, music, around the room, watch those signals, trusts, relationships, and doubles, echo, civil war, what, rap, what, niggers, or heartbreak, division, religion. Ugh. What the heck? Some of the stuff in there is just dustborn. It's called dustborn. Uh, like war, like no, that's different. Borderlands, dustborn. Yeah, it kind of looked like it was a little similar to Borderlands there. But it looks like. It's hey, my name is Ragnar Tornquist. I'm creative director at Red Thread Games, and we're working on Red Thread Games. Dust okay. Point. It looked like a Telltale game or Borderlands game, you know, like the Walking Dead series from Telltale. Telltale games look like it. Dustborn is a story-driven action adventure about a band yeah. of misfits. Like a novel-based game, I guess. Across America, it's a looks game about like hope, it. friendship, love, robots, and the power of words. Uh, so in this footage, you're watching our main character, Pax, explore a small commune in the Pacific Northwest. She's come here with her crew to recruit her sister. But it turns out her sister is uh, not interested in joining the crew. So your job is to convince her and deal with the consequences. I'm sorry about that, man. A little late. I'm not really the one who's not there. I don't know. Can't read dialogue. Goes by so fast. From Telekinesis. <laughs> Oh, they all fled back. 2021. Oh, 2021. Thanks again to Ragnar for that exclusive first look at Dustborn. Dustborn. Okay, what's next, Nolan? Next, we've got a hardcore first-person platformer cool. whose recent Steam demo was played over 100,000 times. Here's an exclusive uh, look at a new cyberspace level containing new enemies and abilities from Ghost Runner. Ghost Runner. Ghost Runner, is that what's called? Ooh. Ooh? What's this? No oh, idea what this is. I'm not sure. You just said Ghost Runner. Ah, you a ninja? Oh crap. That loud on my end. I don't know about your end. Good. Kill, kill, kill. That's all you do is kill people. What the heck, man? 
I guess that's an alternative so you don't end up doing in real life, which is messed up. Let's do it again. Okay. That's a weird way of playing it, but I don't... Jeez. Ah, you're not gonna deflect the bullets? Ouch. That must have hurt. Ah, like the force. Ghost Runner, that's what it's called. Cool. That reminds me of another game, which I forgot the name of it. Go that was pretty PS4, loot. Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Ghost Runner. All right, we're flipping back in time to the ah. 1930s now with a game that stole the show at the recent Xbox Series X showcase. Here's Tatiana Delgado to reveal more about Call of the Sea's spectacular first trailer. Excuse me. Oh. Exclusive. I can't say I remember what he was talking about exactly. Oh, Harry. What Out have you of done? Wrong fury. Hello. I'm Tatiana Delgado from Out of the Blue Games, working on Call of the Sea. You might have seen our reveal trailer yeah. during the recent Xbox Series X event, uh -huh. but we wanted to take the opportunity to walk you through it and tell you a bit more about the game. How strange oh. that your trail ends here. Okay. Call of the Sea is a first-person adventure puzzle oh. game set in the 1930s uh, that takes place in the far reaches of the South Pacific. Uh, cartoon. You take the role of Nora, a woman needed. who has crossed an ocean in search of her husband's missing expedition. At that top of the blue, we love stories and designing puzzles. That is why we wanted to uh. create a game that had a strong presence. Uh. Of and also, we always approach our games with the player's emotions in mind. That being uh. said, although Call of the Sea is a puzzle game, I would say that it is the narrative that drives the game. Uh. Therefore, puzzles serve the narrative and make the story advance as a reward when solving them. Some of the puzzles we have to do with Expedition itself, using the real-world technology of the era. In others, you will try to decipher what the ancient runes were for. Mm. And going back to the story, okay. we have the good fortune of having actress Cissy Jones as the voice of Nora. Mm. We adore her acting in Firewatch uh. and her ability to create a strong presence with only her voice. Mm. It is a tale of self-discovery, an exploration not only of Looks the nice. Adam, but of the character's inner self. Or it could just be the video quality. To an extent, by the works of uh, the 360. This is not a horror game, but an adventure game. The quality of the to video. Give you a vivid mystery yeah. and at the same time an emotional journey. Not a Thank horror you for either. your time and we look forward to revealing more of Call of the Sea in the coming months. Okay, Call of the Sea. Alright then. I don't know what to say about it. Call of the Sea is I just developed by to watch Out of the Blue that. and will launch on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Windows platforms. Our next game looks like an explorer type of game. Holmes. But this time, just from what I was, more arrogant version of the famous detective. Here's uh, the producer and community manager Sherlock like Holmes Frogwares to tell us more about the game's setting and how they. It's like just from what I was seeing there from the previous game, game. it looked like some kind of explorer adventure game, just That's from what crazy. they showed. Hi everyone, my know. name is Sergei Ganisian and I'm the producer and community manager at Frogwares. I can we are wrong. an 80 people strong independent studio that's from that's not horror, yeah. You may know us for our detective games, Shlo such Holmes. as the Sherlock Holmes Adventures, as well as the recent The Sinking City. Whoa. Ah. We are working on our new game, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. It's a, it's a story driven investigation thriller in which you play as the young 21 year old Sherlock before he becomes the legend that we all know. For John Watson and Jim Moriarty, <laughs> Sherlock was a brilliant but rebellious aspiring detective ah, trying to prove himself. The oh. game takes place in the late 19th century Origin on a story. small Mediterranean island where according to our story, Sherlock grew up before moving to England and to where he comes back, now as an outsider, to oh. investigate the mysterious death of his mother, the death that scarred his childhood. No. Sherlock Holmes Chapter no 1 is an open world detective game with Star 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 In this game we are introducing the concept of global investigation gameplay hmm. That is heavily based on the yeah. feedback that we received oh. from the players on our previous games. We build it on bringing in numerous detective features and mechanics that not only synergize with one another but also allow yeah. you to interact Wait, with the world around you. Looks. For example, you can now decide to involve random people on the streets in your investigation, ask them for directions, or question those citizens who you think match your suspect profile. And if you citizens. doubt they would even talk to some foreigner like you, you can for instance find the right disguise, say a police uniform to loosen their tone. 
it's up to you to discover that synergy and use it at the right time, because as I mentioned, there is minimum hand-holding in the game. Of course, making the right deductions and tracking down criminals is another exciting part of huh. a detective's job. We are There's a to cell in us, like, to miss a of evidence, pursue their own lead, and eventually let a killer walk free. Those huh? who played our Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments will know what I'm talking about. We oh. are bringing Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 to PC and console sometime in 2021. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of the show. There are some fantastic games here that we cannot wait to play ourselves. I was just talking about the game. Even though there's no actual gameplay footage with it, I guess. Chapter 1. Sherlock Holmes I don't know. Chapter 1 is coming to PC, current, and next-gen consoles in Once 2021. In our next part of the show, the Because it's not out yet, you know, it's retro, with being worked of on, of course. Reimagine the arcade and console classics of some of my favorite eras, the 80s and 90s. This is like E3, but it's, but it's not E3. Not E3. With a bullet hell future, future really seems. Team from Lebanon, not out yet. A former Pixar artist. Here's an exclusive gameplay slice of Signy. Signy. <sighs> exclusive. Exclusive. Oh, there's a thing in the sky. Something blow up. It's Sigma. Hey, there's a pilot in a pilot ship or something. Just looking around. Okay. I just getting ready to take off. I already was in the air, I guess. That was weird. I don't know if my microphone picked up my headphones or not. What the heck? Yeah, it's this little shooter game. So it was like arcade shooter games. Like, was it Raiden or something? Yeah, that's exactly what this is. The little arcade shooting games. Top down, like everything comes from the side or comes from the top of the screen at you. They're stuck there. I kind of like playing these old types of games. <laughs> Orchestra kind of music. Oh, look out! Look at the boss! He's gonna shoot you! Look out! Ooh, dodge it! Look out for the shots! See, like, dodging bullets that come at you. What do they call it? A bullet hell game? That's, the, that's what they call these type of games now. I forgot what they call these type of games. Was there a game called Raiden? There's an old arcade one of this style of game. A little arcade shooter type of game. We can dodge bullets and shoot the incoming enemies. Ah, getting shot. We got the little shield on. Hey, woo! Go around in circles. Look out! Oh, God! Oh, What the heck is that? Ah, what was that? It was a big massive monster. Kind of all guns blazing. Signy is coming to Windows Signia. Mac and the Sorry. developers hope next Windows generation Mac. consoles. Okay, Mac. so we're keeping the arcade vibe. I hardly hear everything anything about Mac. racing classics like Daytona USA. Can't really play my games on the Mac. That looks like a noir comic. Because I used to own a Mac first, Apple computer, so I couldn't really play any games on it. World premiere. World premiere. Another game here. The mind will that last game was interesting. I like. Oh, I like those kind of games. Sure Save games. us all. Fulfill what no. others failed to do. Mornia depends on you. Oh, excuse me. Stupid ticks. Ah! Why did she just do that? Ah! Was that even a guy or girl? Sorry, I'm looking through here. Like a bird. Ah, there's blood everywhere. Ah! It's like a little dungeon crawler. These types of games. What the heck? What the heck? Slash, shoot, slash, dodge, slash, 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 slash. 
slash oh shoot slash oh oh slash 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 marble the the seven acolytes that's what she just said Yes, bless you striver okay what i don't know what's that full slayer you just slash everything ah, another racing car you all right this is like this old style of look yeah, I've seen games like this. Of course, I pack them. Can't say when exactly, but I remember seeing games like this, which is kind of racing games. I'm gonna go faster, he says. Hot shot racing. What? What is this? What is this game like? Those are the companies that worked on it. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Oh, yes, this game. So far, we've shown a small portion of the game's overall content and the ways that you'll be able to learn from yep. the past, act in the present, and rewrite the future. All like their real style. Time on one screen. This unique presentation lets you see the impact of your choices instantly, and to get really creative in combat by combining skills and playing with time. Huh. Speaking of combat, we just updated our demo on Steam to include Wilhelm, the child mage. I think I'll play the demo whenever I get around to it. Challenging battles. Oh. I'm really going to be bringing Chris Tales both to next gen consoles and Chris all Tale. consoles later this year. Uh, Chris, Chris Tales. Tales. It looks like it says Chris Tales. Chris Tales. I feel like I'm saying the name wrong. Chris Tales. Chris Tales. Play the demo now. I will. When I can. Just get to it, you know? And then up, schedule and upload whenever I can. I do that. Shack, shack. In the coming to BG. Oh my god, the crows! That was like a comic book style. What the? Ah! Computers. My client's bait cash. It's none of your goddamn business. Oh. Right All right, go ahead. Don't forget it. What am I saying? Them. What? What am I saying? Ah. Oh, don't tell me them. It's like a comic book style. Oh snap! Real quick, come with the switch. Cap, cap trails. Join the revolution. Says liberating. Where the hell did they drop me? Huh. And finally, we're delighted no to announce the release date for Neon Abyss, Liberated. a frantic action platformer which fuses classic visuals oh. to an ingenious roguelike dungeon system. That looks like somebody from has encapsulated the spirit of independent games for called? over 30 years with titles like hack Wars, everything. Overcooked, The Escapist, and a whole lot more. Look like some from Ubisoft, that one character there. Rated T for teen. Like a hacker or whatever. What the plan, dude? What the plan, dude? What the plan, dude? What the plan, dude? Looks like Saw. You know what? That's what that came to mind when I read that. Ah, what is this? Ooh, I'm just shooting everything. It's all shooting up. Like, what's it called? Scoop the dungeon? Or dungeon? That's what this is kind of like. I don't ah! What is it doing? Like, what the heck was that? Tackle mini games. Okay, well that was weird. No, play the piano. Never take it easy. Oh yes, let's go fishing. Peaceful fishing. Hey, hey, hurry on up. Go back to work. Ah. It's like Rogue Legacy or what the heck was those type of games? Shoot everything! Oh. <laughs> Neon Abyss. July 14, 2020. Yeah. I like those style of games, and I haven't played much at all. Busy with what I'm busy with. I'm gonna explain why. 
Team 17. Neon Abyss will be launching on PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Windows on July 14th, 2020. That's cool. Our next yeah. game has That's been in nice. early access since 2018 with an wow. almost 90% very positive reviews on wow. Steam. Here's an exclusive oh, look yeah. at the new Easy Day Academy High School level in skateboarding sim Skater XL. No, it's not Tony Hawk. It looks like Tony Hawk. When I see like a skater... When I see like a... Skateboarding something that looks like reminds me of Tony Hawk for some reason, like a freaking video game called Tony Hawk. Excuse me. I haven't played some of these before, but it's at a friend's house. Old friend. Skater Rock Show. Hey. But, yep, just skating. Hi, my name is Skate Lana. Director at Easy Day Studios, and we're working on Skater XL. Today okay. we're showing a first look at the Easy Day High School level. This is yeah. a new environment we've been working on for some time and we're excited to show it off today. Oh, that's nice. Truth. What the heck? This level is based on something that's really key to skateboarding, which is the California school environment. Mm -hmm. This is something that's been in countless skate videos yeah, over the years. Learning. Elementary schools, the high school, school the great commons sort of like, area. It's called pro skater or something. For, for skateboarding. One thing we learned in starting to build environments we like skateboarding games. is that we have a very mm -hmm. unique game mechanic, so we had to go back to the drawing board on how the ah, I'm doing that. pieces of the level are Those combinations tricks. of elements that we've designed ourselves. Well, I can't do skateboarding in real life, so I play it through you. That's an alternative way of looking at it. Some that are very recognizable to anyone in skateboarding from real high schools, real elementary schools. We've got Wallenberg, Location. we've got um, parts of Lockwood Elementary, just a lot of different places. Uh, again, hmm. these are historic right. places. If you know skating, you probably know a bunch of these spots. And uh, the interesting thing is, again, basically mm -hmm. the game mechanic itself is yeah. actually massaged and tweaked wow. each of these spots um, to be wow. not just recognizable, but also really fun and, and work with game mechanic as well. I'm out to ah. All right. Yeah. I've only played some of these, not a lot of these type of games. thing about Skater XL is it really starts with the controls. Yeah. The joysticks, the analog sticks on the gamepad, are um, mapped directly uh -huh. to the feet. So you have independent control of each of the foot. Uh -huh. And everything is completely physics based and generated uh, in the moment. So what this huh. leads to is so uh, you know, the joystick. A, a first for skateboarding All games with the joysticks. Said, you know, the gameplay is not driven by animations, it's driven by the huh. physics. We didn't actually program okay. tricks into the game, we just programmed movement. And with that movement, you're able to do all kinds of tricks. Oh. So as you build up your skill, okay. you're also building up your ability to articulate and perform those tricks in different ways. The element of style and execution. You perform the tricks. It. And that's really where the, the satisfaction, the fun of this game comes, that you're really directly in control. Interesting. You know, just like real but skateboarding, just the move there's such a depth in, in the ways that you can use that board and how you can develop your skills. It becomes a very personal thing. And uh, in the real world, that leads to all these other things that, that pop up around so skateboarding. Wanted. You know, the culture and the creative side. And, Not uh, easy, for me anyway. That's something very unique nope. to skateboarding you don't see with, with other things. So, you know, Next our goal is to really capture a lot of those elements and, and bring them into the game as well. I have done some part four if you run them. There's that. That's the another thing for is it. that it's been uh -huh. uh, a decade since the last uh, significant entrant into the skateboarding genre, and it hasn't been explored in you know in mm -hmm. recent times when we have yeah. all these different things available okay. to connect the community to, to put content out, different platforms. So we're seeing really uh, interesting explosion of, of content. You do all that with just the joysticks um, and modders and and all these different things. Because we move the feet with um, the joysticks. The the game. So it's really exciting to see what this could lead in the future. How Skater XL is coming that out onto all major platforms July 28th, and that includes Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Oh, all major Thanks, platforms. Dane and the whole team at Easy Day Studios. So Our next me, game builds itself as Synthwave yeah. FPS. Which means it looks nice and... Synthwave. It's already been a big hit on Steam, and we're pleased to announce today that it's now coming to Xbox One. This oh. is GTTOD. Get Excuse to the it. orange door. That's what the orange fell off. Exclusive. Excuse us. We have arrived. Ah! It gets loud at moments. What the heck? 
was this? What the heck? Alright. That's a game that's already been out. Ah, what the heck? Okay. Jeez. Well. Ah, look at that. Ah! Shoot it, shoot it. Ah, what the heck? Oh! I'm like a cyberpunk. There's flashing lights and everything. If that's even the right word. Holy crap. Just shoot them up. It's like a little parkour going on in there. We're running. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hit through the orange door. That's it. Is coming to Xbox One in 2020. Huh. And we're pleased to announce that a new demo is available right now, free to download on Steam. Okay, Nolan, come on, you're dying here. What are you talking about? No. Not that bad. No, no, I mean you're gonna be dying when you play our next game, a third-person oh. action adventure. Get this, it's set within a coma where you explore your memories oh. while fighting for your life. Okay, oh. I'm confused. I think I need to see the trailer. All right, glad you asked. Interesting. So you're in a coma and you're doing stuff in your mind, I guess. I guess the whole idea with you. Interesting take on someone being in a coma. You dream. Ooh, you're ruining weapons. Oh, you're dreaming and you're inside a coma. Are your treasured memories? Only weapons and the people you love. Ooh. What? Ah, oh, look at that. A snap. Oh, 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 oh. Beat that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Those are bullets. Those aren't bullets. That's magic. It's just magic. Don't need an explanation. I just punch the thing in the shin and it falls over. <laughs> oh god, my shin! Oh shit, it just explodes. <laughs> I'm going down! It just blows up. Wacky. 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 This giant guy falls apart after it. Just whack him in the shin a few times and it falls over. Boom, boom, boom. Our next game is a sequel to the critically acclaimed World War II flying sim Bomber Crew. Which boldly goes as close as its licensing allows. Star Trek. Excuse me. Star Trek. It's like Star Trek. For reference to Star Trek. World premiere. Funny how people do a reference to Star Trek. Boldly go. We're no longer on the war. The have been causing trouble in our peaceful little corner of space, but not any longer. Yeah, let's go full Abrams with the flares. Look at you. What the heck? Enlist today to oh my God. on an epic space adventure. And do your part. What? Let's get some of those cool wipey things in this part, Gina. Okay. What the heck? Join us on Athena Station. <laughs> uh, funny. Experience the rush of space flight. Seek out new... Ah! Oh, no, aliens. Friends along. Ah! And make new friends. Okay. And make new friends along the way. And they all live keep dying. Laugh and prosper. Oh, and the live, laugh, and the space crew. What? Gina, let's zoom around in 3D and get some explosions going on here. That's a random. Yeah, I got some explosions. Get a bang. Yep, make new friends. And they keep dying. What the heck? Live, laugh, and prosper. On PC, Xbox that was funny. And Switch what the in late 2020. Hey, Nolan, I got a good question for you. You ready? What's uh -oh. scarier than clowns? Uh, oh. Nothing is scarier God. than clowns. You know that. Well, you wouldn't say that if you'd been to Wales. You should probably Ooh. cover your eyes for this. Ew. What's up with their eye? Exclusive. I'll say what's scary. The unknown. I don't know what's out there and all who gets you. That's the unknown. Words I wish to write. I fear you may believe me taken with madness. I don't know. My father know. seeks to use me. He wishes what? me to sing for him as she did. To become Never a star mind. attraction. Never mind. To draw good folk to this accursed what? spit of land. I cannot explain further. But ask that you huh. trust me. Your love. 
Always. Elizabeth. Oh, good love. My name is Ben Tester, and I'm head of marketing at Wells Interactive. Right now, we're finishing work on a new title, Made of Scare, and we're really excited to be able to share with you this new and exclusive gameplay footage. Ooh, so gameplay footage here instead of a trailer now. As the games are not out yet, you know? survival horror game, which features a story inspired by Welsh folklore. It fuses psychological, gothic, and British horror. Set in 1898, Made of Scare is inspired by the haunting Welsh tale of Elizabeth Williams. It's a story of a family empire that's driven by torture, slavery, piracy, and a supernatural mystery Ooh. that suffocates the grounds of the hotel. Jeez. In this footage, we wanted to explore the 3D sound-based AI system that is the core survival mechanic. We want to show you what you can do to remain undetected, and if you're caught, uh -huh. what tools are available for you to survive. Ah! The enemies at Scare Hotel are completely blind, and they hunt by only what they can hear. So any noise that you make from walking or running, bumping into environmental objects, or even breathing heavily, will uh, often result in death. Oh crap! So you can avoid detection by creeping, avoiding the obstacles that make the noise, but if the enemies are close, uh -huh. then holding your breath is the only option. If you miss time this and run out of breath, then even your panting will get you killed. You are not completely defenseless. Wow. There'll be a sound-based weapon available with sense of hearing. that's hidden in and around the grounds of the hotel. You'll have to find health items, collectibles, puzzle pieces, map pieces, and story pickups. All items that you can find and add to your inventory. The game will feature three levels of difficulty. Uh. The scares remain the same throughout, but a change in Ew. AI behavior, enemy strength, limited manual saves, and reduced ammo and health items will put more of an emphasis on that classic survival horror experience. Ooh. Made of Scare is a on console, with a digital and physical launch on PS4 and Xbox One this July. You can wishlist the game now on Steam, and pre-purchase will be available in the coming weeks. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoy the show. Ah! Ow! I'm gonna check that out. Hey Nolan, you can open your eyes now. Okay, there you go. All right, Made of Scare Let's launches see. on PS4, That's Xbox, cool. Switch, and like Windows that. in 2020. Hey, mm. Em, what's better than looking at one upcoming game? Is this another one of your dad jokes? It's looking at a collection of upcoming games in the space of a few minutes. Okay, I'm listening. Here's an incredible lineup of future hits to get excited about. Future hits. Hey, here we go. Ooh, smart. It's smart. It's smart, you know. What the hell? No. Oh, fall guys. Oh, fail guys. Oh no! Oh, I remember that. Carry on. Ah, don't hit me! And then those things are unbound world apart. Wasn't that game like that previous game was during the Devolver? Press conference, Devolver event, this little event. Uh, Cyberpunk. Run! Run for it! Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Fuck! Ooh! Slashing. God, this freaking music, what the heck? Ooh, gonna run, doggy, run! Look at that doggy go. Funny. He almost gone. I was playing music on the showcase and stuff. What? Oh, I remember that already. We've seen this thing already. Ah, oh, satisfying. I took you out. Oh, look at them. They're all like, oh, yeah. Like, ah, I'm just gonna take it out by him. Funny. Oh, this game again. Saw some of this in the PC game and show already. Yeah. We did. Move it! Oh, I never seen something like that on the Nintendo 64 actually. Similar. Cloud Punk! Cloud Punk, like you're in the clouds. Hey, get your head out of the clouds! Come on, man! What the heck's going on here? Hey! <laughs> what the heck? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, what was that? What is this? Ah, like a little dodgeball thingy. That was a weird game. What the hell? Hammer... Hammer Tig? Hammer Tig, is that what it's called? 
Вот так. Да, да, да. Stay tense. What? You little fox are running around. Oh, he's a false dragon. I was trying to read that. What the heck? Archie, it's unchained. That looks like an MMO. Yeah. Arcades, Unchained. How many titles have I seen use the word Unchained in them? Seriously. By heading to GamesRadar.com. Our next game appeared in our sister event, the PC Gaming Show, just a few hours ago. And we're mm -hmm. delighted to have John sister Lewis event. join us now for an exclusive look at Remnant from the Ashes DLC, ah, yep. subject 2923. I've never seen stuff about this since the last year, E3. I was mistaken. Remnant from the oh yeah, we already saw this. Remnant from the ashes. Never mind. Just seeing that little, little picture there looked like something else from last year. Right now, the team is hard at work on subject 2923, the final DLC for Remnant from the Ashes. Okay. This DLC is much larger and more expansive than any oh, of the previous DLC. Oh, this is the DLC, of course. Like the game's already been out. Ah! Oh God. Ouch. Ouch, snap. Shoot it. Shoot it. Fuck out. What is this? Like a little horror game. Hi, Hoss. Your day. Oh, hi. How's your day? It's going pretty good. Going all right. Nice to see you, Blizz Pugs. You're right. Oh, Blizzard Pugs. So sorry. Hey, how's it going? That day is going pretty good. Just doing a live reaction stream here. Which are a race of men in, in combat, you'll find they are as resourceful as they are deadly. Ah, I guess part these like monsters that look like vampires or something. Ouch. This DLC has that a lot down. of additional content. With the addition of the new a campaign, DLC of over new quests, bosses, weapons, something remnant I forgot already. And more. Additionally, what? Recent will okay. Be as an option in adventure mode, and if you have the swamps mm, courses, say so. Day, it'll add recent to the rotation oh, survival mode as well. Ouch. Is that that guy? Just, 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 just. Kind of looks like Gears of War. Did I say that right? There, there. Is this a third person perspective? This reminds me of Gears of War. Thank you so much for tuning in to find out what's next for Remnant from the Ashes. Hope you all enjoy the rest of the future. It's a DLC. Show. We start to do sound. Ah! Oh crap. That dodge. Yeah, it's like a little bit. When I looked at that, it reminds me of Gears of War. On Xbox One, PS4, and Windows PC. Just the third person perspective and stuff. Maybe I can look into and that, even though that was just a DLC for it. Completely different. What? Exclusive. Everybody what the loves world. playing board games. What? Now they're finally cool. But they're not what the easy heck? to play when you can't meet up with your friends or loved ones. Don't fret, my old chums. Here at oh, Thunderbolt HQ, we've been working tirelessly to create state-of-the-art AI, amazing huh. computer graphics, a bitching synth soundtrack. Ah! 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 Weird. So, also, we hey, bro. Retro you feel? How's it going? Hey there, it's a quiz. Hey, bud. Hey there. Wanna what? What? Nah, I don't know how to answer that question. Weird. Weird. Wow, this looks kind of dangerous. Let's move. Ah, ah, took him out. What is this? Oh no! Ready? Get your goddamn dirty tentacles off of my. Okay. Well, what is this? What the heck is this? What the heck? Huh? Those aliens the wrong yeah. to miss. The captain is dead. Is dead. Head on over right now to Steam right now to wish list it up right now. 
Ha! The Captain That's funny. is Dead is a digital board game and will launch on Steam in 2020. Okay, that looks so our funny. next games are Art linked style by and everything. on player creativity. From designing a food-themed obstacle course for you and your friends to creating a mobile base that traverses a savage land. But let's start with a title called Main Assembly. Hello, oh. inventors, and welcome to Main Assembly, a game that gives uh -huh. you the freedom to create yeah. anything you can imagine. With huge open sandboxes to explore, your creations will be pushed to the breaking point. Jam-packed with loads of challenges and parts to unlock, pushing your inventions to the limit. What the heck? Revolution hey, let me help you. Ah, you picked them up. Anything with these and Once you have perfected your design, why not take it for a test flight? Happy with how your robot looks? With the visual programming interface, you can set Ooh. up controls and use sensors to make a drone for different types of automation and yeah. put your oh, answer right now. Or jump online with friends oh. to compete and collaborate. Alright, just chop down the wall. And test out what others in the community have built. So you were customized. Will your creation be the one that everyone is talking about? Huh? Main oh, is it's called Treats or Collins Syndrome. It's just a genetic disorder, mutation. So I'm born with. Oh, you're, you're being creative and what the? Oh, oh, ah, bad girl. I look like a game where you just create stuff. I think that's what it is. You be creative and customize. And that's what. Oh, this is another one. No, you're fine. So, I have lots of people ask. So, yeah, fine. Hello, my name's Jamie Jackson and I'm from Mythical Games. So and something you don't understand, excited. that's all good. Sorry. Right. This we're game again. By a bunch of veterans we're we're able to be creative, game game creative and just create stuff. Customize how you want to play. DJ Hero, Guitar Hero, that's what the previous game looked mode. like. Blanco's Block Party is a game about vinyl toys coming to life, but huh. it's actually more than just a game. It's a place for gamers and content creators and collectors huh. to come together and to build and to own and to set the rules for the world huh. that they want yep. to play. Tell us in piece of you and so show. Here we can see one of our Blancos running around the junction. Stuff. The junction in Blancos is a really cool customize we want to play. The beginning of the Blancos world. Or something like that. Over time. I'm not mistaken. Um, you go there as a solo player, it's going to be full of other players doing their thing. It's going to mm -hmm. be gigs and mm. bears that our NPCs are going to set for you. Um, as you do these things mm. in the junction, you're going to level up your Blanco, so you're going to be able to train them to do different uh, things. So each Blanco that you own, not only do you own it, you get to train it and to mm. be the type of Blanco you want it to be. So you could make it super fast and jumpy. You could make it super uh, I don't know if I have shooting those things. You could make it super fast Shoot other players. for the race games. You're also going to be able to get these really cool rewards from the quests. Create um, different ways on how you want to play. Be, Things that they you can attach some. to your Blanco that just look cool. Some of them will actually enhance huh. a lot of your abilities. But the junction is weird. just the beginning. And it's going to grow nah. and get bigger and bigger over time. My god. Now what we're seeing is some of the... Customized UGC little character. So everything here, people just built weird. using the UGC editor. We wanted it to be super easy for players to build and create these levels. Key to it is everything well. is done with a game controller. In Blanco's Block Party, you're going to be getting new content seasonally. And what that means ah, is we're going to be delivering you some really cool stuff weird. that is only available for that face. season. So Real. if you Real. go by Blanco's Season 1, that won't be available once you get Except to Season toys. 2. So if you manage to snag one of the cool ones, you're going to be one of the few that gets to keep that for as long oh. as you want to keep it. The same applies yes. to any of the dares and the quests. Little things those to are collect. going to be locked to a season and anything that you get uh -huh. from completing those things only is available in that season. Ownership right. is a key part of the experience. So our proprietary mm. technology platform provides true ownership okay. of what players buy and create through verifiable assets. It allows us to legitimize the type of grey markets that pop up around so many games, and it gives ah, players the power to dictate the value of those assets. What is that? Opposing. And the thing is, is you as a player own it, and we're going to make it really mm. easy for you to do what you want with that. Mm. Yeah, you said you can be able to customize how you want to play. Yep. We've just provided really go. easy tools so that you can build whatever world you want to build and set the rules mm -hmm. for that world. The limit really is kind of your imagination. There you go. Like I said, yeah, it was able to create how we want to play. To PC later this year and we it's like create your own level and such. Additional platforms and our beta soon. 
If you want to know more about it, head over, reserve mm. your account at blankos.com. And you can also follow us on Twitter at PlayBlankos and Instagram at PlayBlankos. I saw the thing for you and so. Yeah. Welcome. What the? No. Nah. Oh, I just took somebody out. So, football. Oh, my God. Yeah, customize how you want to play. That's what that is. Like a sandbox game. That's pretty cool. That looked like it was fun. Or neat. At least of what they had to show there. Let you know when you actually experience it for yourself. But I guess watch somebody play. Yeah. What? That reminds you of Game of Thrones for some odd reason. Weird. Just looking at that little thingy. With the swords inside the chair. Weird. I don't know, what were those? Tillers? Stakes? I thought I had learned. The Hi, my name is Lucas. I'm a producer here at Donkey Crew working on Last Oasis. And today I would like to show you our new map. Last of Us huh. is a nomadic survival MMO, combining innovative features that allow players to traverse the world on complex wooden machines, engage in epic battles both against the fauna and against each other, leave a mark on the player-driven economy, and do many more exciting things in this uh -huh. world. What we're showing here today is the next big addition to the game, a volcanic uh -huh. oasis. This uh -huh. upcoming type of a map consists of all new areas to explore, from cold and barren Explored hills you. stretching all the way to the horizon to hard volcanic rock formations that creates natural passages and scorching hot lava lakes obliterating anything that gets near. Lava. As you travel through lava these lakes. vast virgin terrains, you get a chance to discover efficient ways to mine obsidian and find rare loot in mysterious man-made stone runes and even hunt uh. legendary killings, these giant winged lizards inhabiting mountains uh. and hot climates. Like pterodactyls or dragons. The volcanic lands make it very difficult for nomads to survive it's if slick. they decide to settle on this hot soil. Huh. Greenery have to crawl and the floor. sources of water are hard to come by, and I'm hostile swimming. flying monsters don't make it any easier to explore huh. because they are attracted to walker winds, making it essential for anyone who decides to venture towards <laughs> these new territories to prepare in advance. Smart okay. traders will likely take advantage of the resource scarcity to try to make some flots on desperate nomads missing some wood or water, while explorers will be risking their lives to gather rare resources that appear in high quantities everywhere. in these dangerous conditions. We are working well, tirelessly uh, to bring in more content what? and improvements for the game. I don't, so I can't, sure don't know what to say much now, about what this guy is talking about See here. This. Hey, how are you? Steve Dennington, hi. Doing all right? Good. Next up, the future Doing game live show reaction talks stream. to experts about how next these digital events. and PC technology are Something changing. Something I did even with E3 last year. We enjoy our special investigation into the future of gaming. And uh, for the record, we called it that first. Yeah. I'm doing all right. Pretty good. Oh, this is from PlayStation 5. Yep, Cyberpunk. Uh oh, that Resident Evil. It's time to see what's next. What is next? As if it's a moon. Oh, what a cool looking game! I know, right? Yeah. such as Sony's PlayStation Five and Microsoft's Xbox Series X. Look at that! That looks pretty nice. preparing to change the way the way that looks. We see companies like Google Stadia continuing to push the boundaries of cloud gaming technology, while studios like Epic Games are beginning to show us what a new generation of engines will be capable of delivering. The Future Game Show has caught up with some of the world's leading developers in fields including graphics, audio, storytelling, and machine learning to discover. Have the next generation fun. of hardware or push video games Seven's in a way queen. that we have never experienced before. Mm, game worlds. The way that uh, I see game worlds changing in the next generation freak. is with a bigger focus on player it interaction the and the making the uh, worlds feel truly alive. Ascent, we can already make game worlds too big for the amount of content that we put in them. 
So, of course, graphics will take a huge leap forward, but it's the complexity, diversity, and the freedom to play around in them that I think will be the biggest leap. The oh. technology that really excites me is using machine learning, both to make the game feel a lot more responsive and meaningful to the player, and to augment my ability as a game developer. What the, the heck? See video games evolving that kind of reminds me of, of, I don't know, know seeing that from the corner of my eye or that looked like Pac-Man a little. I don't really look it's at what was going on there. Just shoot that. Just shoot that. Really what I'm super interested in is solving problems that help game worlds and the characters in them play and feel as alive as they can now look. The next okay. generation of tools and technology should allow a game well, to learn the knowledge, the emergent, creative things you can do as a player, and mm -hmm. to help game developers create richer, right. more soulful game worlds. I'm really excited about using technologies like Semantic ML to help game characters feel more responsive. Always try to improve the graphics and such. Or the physics. Randomly, okay, based on the kinds of things you've course. done as a player so far. One way that game worlds might feel more alive Witcher in the future 3. is by replacing scripted interactions with organic conversations. This they live demo from Russian AI playing. Project Live Mind literally puts words into Geralt's mouth and them. could be a sign of things to come. Huh. Hey, thanks. Yes, yes I want a great sound How you doing? That. Hello. Yeah, I'm trying to have no idea what to even say with what's going on. But the types of stories being told within them, too. Narrative is such an important component to the games we play, what further our connection with virtual spaces and the characters that inhabit them. It makes Real sense then that this is one area developers are eager to evolve. Oh, the enemy of the mouth is so goobs. Huh. Hello, I'm doing fine. That's good. I'm doing pretty good, too. Just doing a live reaction stream over future games, so... The biggest a little bit of the games as a storytelling medium is the interaction. But often we still I find it all right, pretty good. Dark pictures and biology, little hope. That's what this is. Should be about how we can make the experience as frictionless as yeah. possible. Really, this event. The player feel like they are actually part of the story. Um, you know, tailored experience. Quiet and really by themselves, but also with friends at home or online. I'm also hoping to see storytelling explore more collaborative efforts. Talking about the under religion. Larger groups of players at once, without telling each of them that of all only they are the chosen one. When we start thinking to ourselves, is traversal what should be at the heart of every storytelling experience in AAA? You know, can we make it more about the internal Here conflicts rather than those external conflicts? To find the fuse. Oh, what you would Movies do. never have to cut away to load the next scene or more assets. There's a cut to black because the director wanted that cut in that exact moment. And storytelling goes well beyond just the words being said. It's the audio and the camera shot and effects and the location. Yeah. Now with characters and the world right. looking more real than ever, less downtime due to loading and more feedback from our controllers, mm -hmm. we'll hopefully see larger or more immersive scenes that won't need to let up. Just They're having a problem with that stuff, but okay, sure. Give that to people who are incredibly impatient, I understand. A new generation though. of hardware they do that to create more immersion. Because when there's so much loading time, 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 there's less video. immersion. There's that. Of course. Sony and Microsoft are putting more emphasis mm. than ever before on audio. And in the way that sound can draw so you have in more, you're like more immersive before, in the something when there's less loading time. Spaces be about to change entirely. The That's the thing. It's all PS5 games with the Unreal Engine. bigger sense. Uh, we already started to see hints of it already. Uh, Xbox. Technologies such as Ambisonics and Ambisonics are talking being about, we're already talking really about the next engine. People are starting real. to think in different ways of how we could even push the boundaries even further. So one of the things that's so exciting about the next gen audio is that it's promising just a whole new level of immersion. Obviously, the PS5 3D audio is kind uh -huh. of the most outspoken example huh. of this. Do you think and you so will buy a Assassin's Creed Valhalla? I don't know. Something that, that's Possibly. It's been a while since I've played any Assassin's Creed games, even though I like playing Assassin's Creed. Who we are, and the fact that we have 3D audio it's will possible. enhance that in a much grander sense. You know, I guess it's its own game and a sequel. Well, 
Of course, oh, some of the biggest teams I feel like I haven't played much of the other ones, but I've played some of them. Smaller teams being given the tools to more easily I'm not saying it wouldn't happen, but you yeah, never know. Such as cross-platform play and cloud gaming, a huge reduction in load times and install sizes. Talking about Here's how they're some of the things in the future with this. The changes on the near horizon. Playing games That's the next generation of that game. more social than ever, with all the online services bound to get a refresh. Hello, unspoken I words. Like the next generation will have more opportunities What's that? to play Not together when we can't be Just together. I think the future of showing a live reaction stream over these digital events, the like I did last year with E3 2019. Since E3 was cancelled this year, it's just a little different. Hey, thanks for that follow. Ah! Crossplay is becoming more widely accepted and implemented, and that means we should have a more what you are getting friends, what version they're getting, what platform yep. they're on. You should be able to seamlessly play together, which is amazing. Uh, I love crossplay. Cross-platform ownerships of games. Doesn't matter what platform you're on now. Just play the game still. Overall, the focus play the two on the the platform. players' experience rather than I like the platform that. itself. The next generation of hardware should allow I'm talking about how you're able to do certain things with the next hardware and things fidelity. like that. Yeah, oddly enough, when you're on a computer, it's well, I'm talking about the next engine, the new engine, not just what platform you're on. And now, you've taken away the gap between what platform you're playing on and still play together. Yeah. What this will do is it'll level the playoff field for the Orange developers. Message. Um, and developers who previously couldn't have competed yeah, and finally able to do so. It's a really exciting time. Hmm. Yeah, what's the time to watch this? It almost like feels like... who gave up their what? time to bring us that insight into the future of gaming. All right, our next game is introduced by... I'm going to say future game. game. It sounds Thanks, like Emily. talking about you know, Unreal guys, Engine and PlayStation 5 and such. Okay, no, I refer, of course... To Brian Fargo. He's the original producer of Fallout. So He's here to talks. tell you about the action RPG Wastelands 3. Let's take a look. I thought I saw something that said Watch Dogs there. Is that what that said? Exclusive. I don't know if I really saw that, right? The Wasteland 3. Oh, what Hello, you say? everybody. I'm Brian Fargo. Hello. I was the executive Brian producer Fargo. on the original Fallout and uh -huh. Wasteland series. And I'm oh. here to tell you today that finally Wasteland 3 is coming August 28th for the Xbox. I feel like there was already a 3. Oh, so it's already been out. It's just now on those consoles. Wasn't this already like on the computer? We do this. Welcome. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh, that's so messed up. Families and children. That's messed up. What the heck, man? Let's mm. find the monsters who did this. Mm. Yeah, let's go get them. Ah, murder them. Ah, well, sure, murder them because they're murdered their family. Well, yeah, all this killing everyone because they killed a really ah, they all do that. Yep. That's how it is. It's apocalypse. What? What the heck? Ooh, what is this? Ah, that's our. It's like a tactical game, like. Ah, like XCOM. Yeah, now it's coming to consoles. Because I've seen this before. Ooh, look at that. Oh, crap. Wasteland 3. Now on consoles. Instead just computer. The end has just begun. Wasteland 3 is coming to Xbox One, PS4, Windows, Mac, and Linux on August 28th, 2020. Oh, wait, what? I'm confused. If Wasn't it already on the computer? On the and what? Oh, My I feel like I seem to listen. Yeah, we've been over this. Look, if clowns are like high, then our next game needs a new scoring system. Check out this new gameplay. I feel like I seem to watch whatever that said in Wasteland 3 before. Weird. Wasn't that already out? I'm confused with Wasteland 3. Rated I feel like that's already been out. Oh, we got a horror Please game here. Uh-oh. Come in, Come in. Uh -oh. Miss Reed. Come in. Yes, come in. Come in. Uh-oh. Do you remember me? Do you remember me? Uh -oh. Ah! <laughs> what was that? 
We're ah, this is present evil. No, hopefully, no, it's not right. I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, I thought you were going to be there. Oh no, you got an axe. Look out, run for it. Ew. What have you done to her? Ah! Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Ah! Run! That's a good new power, huh? You got powers. You got powers now! New powers! Do one of takes. To survive, right? To survive? Oh, to stay alive. Do no. it, Mr. Ashman. No. Of course I will. Remember the rip broken Tarsaloon? I know I said that wrong. The title. Looks like Resident Evil. Oh, or the other game I saw. Ah, it's trying to break in. Get out of there, run. Ah, run for it. Ah. Ah. That old re reused audio. Use the whistling. God, that's creepy. Okay. Wow. Remothered broken porcelain. That was weird. PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Windows. Remothered. That's what it says. Next up, we have I read that wrong. A teaser for a new title from Different Tales. No spoilers here, but if there's a full moon tonight, we all should stay inside. No. Nah. A whole moon. What's wrong with the whole moon? Sound like a game. Or is it? Ooh. Ah! Ah! Oh no, it's a whole moon! Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Oh, right, good. Werewolf. Ah! Oh, yeah. yeah, werewolf, the apocalypse, heart of the horse. Of course, the series is a full moon, it's referring to werewolves. Oh man, we can't wait to see more from this team in the coming months. So the future game show That's a teaser has taken a closer trailer. look at the games of tomorrow, but big changes are happening to the way we play right now. Features such as cross progression and cross play cross allow us to play. It sounds like you that time you tried to play Crash Bandicoot. As I was saying, no. new features like cross play let PS4 owners Funny. connect with Xbox, Switch, and PC owners in their favorite shooters. And we caught up with developers High Res about how these features work in their current and upcoming games. I like cross play. Crossplay lets you play games with your players Paladins. regardless of which platform they own. And yep. it's grown in popularity thanks to titles such as Fortnite and Call mm -hmm. of Duty Warzone. That's why Developers I like Developers of High Res Studios are trailblazers in this field. But the industry as a whole has been slower to embrace the potential of crossplay. Mm -hmm. We caught really? up with High Res to ask why oh, and to discover the importance of crossplay as we head into the next generation. Uh. That's Paladins. To overcome the challenges of making crossplay work, you need to change people's mindsets. There's a fear oh. that platforms will lose revenues and lose players to competing platforms if they open the doors to crossplay and progression. In the future, really? I think you'll start to see consoles and other platforms embrace a truly play anywhere experience. It will yeah, I like that. Less important what hardware are you using? It's all about the games. Much more about, like, connectivity Not the freaking console platform. Exclusives, but the true crossover yeah, it's all about the games. Crossplay and cross progression also challenges game developers to think more globally and holistically about audiences. So you should be able to play from anywhere, doing anything, and kind of have that uh, that that follow you around wow. from console to console or platform to platform. I like that. If they choose Xbox or I'm going to disappear on Sonic. For the next generation, or it's true as ever. Matter. The game they love and the Thanks, truffle they trousers. Careful with those truffle trousers. Well, so to be able well, to well, think a joke about your trousers. See you later, dude. Uh, That's and funny. You also want to that Take care of you too. Platforms is fair regardless of who they're up I like crossplay. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I got like trousers. Things like cultural relativism, localization, mm. global community management yep. are a See you later. role in gaming. Um, so I think the long answer is short. That's one of the kind of maybe hidden benefits of crossplay is it stimulates diversity and kind of a global approach mm -hmm. to how you think about diversity. To deliver next gen crossplay, I think a lot of salt against diversity. Hi-Res Studios currently publishes three crossplay and cross progression titles mm -hmm. forthcoming this summer. 
We keep learning new lessons, but the single biggest is it's much easier to build a Play Anywhere title from the start than it is to shoehorn it later in a project. More players accessing the same game rather than fragmenting across all of these platforms also means that your it's ability like to make matches and the quality of those matches one platform over. Overall, we're looking to drive the most fair and I like that view. I've played it such a long time. Some of the most important pillars to get there. Mm. Okay. Weird. Apex. What's up, I was born ready. What? Neither of us was born ready? As I just said? I don't know. I'm really here. Oops. We're finishing work on Rogue Company, and we're really excited to be able to share this update with you today. Rogue Company is a third person shooter hell? that features a unique blend between action paced gameplay and objective based game mode. Objective based game. In Rogue Company, game. you play as a rogue, which are a group of elite mercenaries that operate outside Mercenary. of the and they drop in exotic locations all over the world. Rogue Company is going to be free to play, and it'll Ooh. feature cross play and cross progression across all platforms. Since Yay. game one, one of our cornerstones was making sure that you were able Ooh. to play the game you want on the platform you want with the friends that you want. Yeah, At the end of the day, nice. Rogue Company can be summarized in one word. Inclusive. I just like playing the Today game. We are in the it doesn't matter to what platform. Which means we're testing cross-play and cross-progression features, polishing weapons, rogues, and maps. The majority of my time is spent refining... I can only imagine the potential that this would have in the future. Also making sure that you know? maps and modes are providing exciting and unique games. I do want to say... It's pretty amazing to play Rogue Company on a handheld device like the Switch. Mm. Being able to play Rogue Company at 60 FPS as I sit on the couch and oh. my wife is watching another episode of Love Island is a dream no. come true. That's funny. Yeah. Rogue Company is coming Please to PlayStation that 4, scenario. Xbox One, PC, yeah. and Nintendo Switch later this summer. Yeah, that's nice. For you to play our labor of love. To sign up for the alpha, head on over to That looks like Apex, it's account. not. Thank you, and enjoy the show. One of the characters, so. You're welcome. Oh, it is loud. Jeez. What the freak, man? Learning in my ears, well, to fund ears. My head. Because I hear through bone conduction. Future cross play. We all know the next generation consoles are getting closer. So here's an exclusive look at what's to come in Square Enix's third-person shooter, Outriders. 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 You hear that? There's Outriders, everybody. Oh, no, hey, Next time on the the oh, I it. We'll be taking a look right. at the journey it's into like every the other game. game. Plus the characters joining your adventure as you battle through a hostile world. We'll also be showcasing a brand hmm. new area world. and delving deeper oh, into oh. our next class. Oh. The Pyromancer. Oh, Pyromancer. Wait, what? That's it? You're just gonna tease us like that? Biomancer? Outside, outside. We can't wait to hear more about Outriders in the lead oh, up to release excuse me, Outriders. In holiday 2020. We're heading 150 years to the future like next, where humanity is struggling to survive and human brains that are looks being like transformed Iron Man. into robot bodies. Here's yeah. more on disintegration. Human brains and the robot bodies. One step like cyborgs, androids. Integrated outlaws. Sir, have you got weapons and shelter in there? Maybe uh, you could give us a chance to rest. We may have more of interest to you than guns. No. Hi there, my name huh. is Marcus Leto. I'm the president and creative director at V1 Interactive, and we are currently working on our brand new debut game called Disintegration. Huh? And we are super excited to finally uh, be uh, getting ready for it to launch soon. Wow. Max will do it for you. Yeah, I guess mm. you took the hard road. It's like Star Wars. We set out to build something. Seriously, it feels too much like Star Wars to me. It blends some great parts of a first person shooter with a real time tactical elements in a way mm -hmm. that's never been done before right. in a way that required us to invent all new gameplay mechanics in order for it to work ah, the story disintegration is uh, something that's set about 150 mm -hmm. years from now in the future where humanity is really struggling to survive 
And one way to struggling to survive. When is everyone never struggling to survive? You know, it's never fun. I don't know. To survive through this period of time. Once in these robotic armatures, since when is anyone not struggling to survive? Where they are super strong, oh. or super durable, and some of them don't that's everyday life, isn't it? Humanity again, and so oh. the new army is Depends still like called the Rayon. In this world, we play hmm. some of those early integrated who are fighting back and who don't want to follow along with the Rayon. I've seen what you call freedom. Not interested. I'm not interested. That's not fatal to me. We allow the players to team up 5v5 against one another, each with their own crew. It's like a mobile. Incredible battle against one another. Each one That's of the, those, uh, those matches takes like a different type of game mode, so there's a great variety of things to oh? happen to. Oh? Is this like a mobile? That's first person shooter? For the player to really have success like Monday Night Combat? They need to the consider two. both parts of the equation. On one hand is your grab cycle and your weapons and abilities that you use fluidly in combat. That's just one part of the equation though. On the other huh. hand is your ground squad, each with their unique abilities that you can fire off tactically in gameplay. It's oh. important that the player understands okay. that both of these things work in tandem together and that they are part of a whole. They are the crew. And ah. for you to kind of consider both parts is ah, critical well, for your success. I like how so some games are inspired by some other games. On June 16th on uh, PlayStation. Like a little bit Halo. This. Or Star Wars. Or Destiny. We're excited to be on all three platforms simultaneously. And we are Let's see. waiting for the Xbox to hop in and start with us. That's what we just said. Uh, where you two have in a moment, I can leave y'all be. What? The grab cycle? I'm a pilot. Uh-huh. It's called the pre-flight inspection. No judgments here, huh? No. Disintegration. That was funny. Reboot humanity. 16, 16, 2020. It's coming close. Disintegration is coming to PS4, Xbox One, and Almost June 16. 16. It's next, next week. That now comes out next week. For a lesson in alternative history, as we explore what might have happened if the Second World War didn't end in 1945. What? Ah. Exclusive. I'm doing that. Hi everyone, my name is Bogdan Grabczyk, the game director of the upcoming narrative-driven adventure game Paradise Lost. Oh, Paradise I'm Lost, you said. I'm excited to walk you through the alternative history that uh -huh. serves as the setting for our story. Right. In Paradise Lost, the Second World War doesn't end in 1940. Second World War? Second World War? You already had a Second World War. In the spring of 1960, the Nazi regime is on its They're always and so making games after like in. World War II and things like that. The Nazis, the 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 Nazis again with the Nazis. So oh, people the make games over that stuff. And turning you that happens in life. Happens around the world. The rest of the world this seems like a now we're all battling some pandemic thing. Instead. Yet few know huh. of the secrets that have Poor been hidden dude. deep underground. Oh, what? The Ark Project is among the most secretive Creepy. endeavors of the Third Reich. The atmosphere is looking at everything. It's going to construct a network of hidden, self-sustainable, heavily fortified underground bunkers meant to shelter an area in ah! society until it can emerge and rule the post-nuclear landscape. Nuclear Not everything landscape. goes according to plan. For reasons unknown, one of the bunkers, located just outside Kraków, Poland, Kraków, Poland. Poland. Oh, oh, interesting. Now, as you discover the past, you can shape the present. It's been 20 years the since present. the explosion that set our story in motion. You play as Shimon, a 12 year old Polish you boy. Are doomed to to who do tragedy. We do not follow history of doomed to repeat it. I guess that's what it sounds like you're talking about there. At first, the place it's seems completely bunker. desolate. Oh no. Shimon to the bunker. It's abandoned. 
You'll have to uncover the truth yourself. Seems abandoned, but it's not. Ooh. Uh oh. Shut the door. And then someone opens the door just as you're trying to shut it. You dare discover the last story on Earth. lost. That sounds like a pretty neat spooky game. Yeah. Paradise Lost is coming. I have to say much of anything while listening to what they're saying. That comes out to Xbox Series X. Thank you. Hey, we discussed this. You can't be trusted. Well, unbelievable. Oh, this. Just roll the tape. What's this though? What? Can't be trusted. Funny. What premiere? Didn't they show you? Operation Tango. Whether you choose agent. Mm hmm Or choose hacker. Hacker? Agent or hacker? The secret agent like test the game. No. Agent or hacker. Ah. It takes two to stay alive. To just stay alive. Operation Tink. It takes two to save the world. Da 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 da. I got James Bond like that. So we don't even know its name at the time of this recording. So I'm just gonna put myself out there and make one up. Hey. I'm the Kingdom of the Gusty Willows. Let's go. What kind of fake name is that? It is not called The Kingdom of Gusty Willows. Here's the developers of The Kingdom of the Gusty Willows to talk about Stop. their show-stopping new PS5 project, The Kingdom of the Gusty Willows. Stop. Can That's I not what it's called. Extremely clear. This is not called The Kingdom of the Gusty Willows. What's the big deal? It's Explain what's called. I already know what it's called. I just can't remember what it's called. I've seen that since PS5. Yeah, I like skin. It's like a little, like pigment. It's like, eh, hello, little tiny critters. It's like pigment. The name isn't Kingdom of the Gusty Willows. Of course it's not. Bridge of Spirits. Kingdom Bridge of Spirits. Yep. There it is again. Hi, I'm Mike Greer. Saw this during the PS5 event. And I'm Josh Greer, uh, Mike's brother. Nice I'm to see you again. Operating officer here at the studio. Saw them last see time. We met Bridge of Spirits at the Sony PlayStation 5 event. And today hmm. we're really excited to share a little yep, bit of that's when they showed that. They showed at the PlayStation 5 event. So what's this game all about? Well, Kana Bridge of Spirits again. is a story-driven action-adventure game that combines fast-paced combat with exploration mm -hmm. and a really fun, charming Companion mechanics. Yeah. Players are going around nice. collecting it's like pigment. creatures that we call the rot. So I like pigment. So plays Kana. She's a spirit guide who has traveled her. To this forgotten village. Little tiny pigment like creatures. Trapped lingering spirits. Um, and it becomes clear that there are larger forces at play that have sort of corrupted the environment and stopped things from moving on. No. Well, the main focus of the game actually ah, revolves around helping these trapped spirits. So each kind of level or world that you enter is all focused and kind of themed around come out. the corrupt spirit that's lingering. And to really help the spirits, you ultimately Bloody. have to know what happened to them in their past life. And to ah. do so, you're looking for clues like in your me. you know, facing combat Tiger. challenges, Ooh. solving puzzles. But ultimately, it all relies on building and growing your team. Throughout. Yeah, the rock mm. are, are key to like sort of every aspect of gameplay. It's like they can be used in combat. Augment abilities, they can be used to play around before. things around for you. The more rot you have, mm -hmm. the stronger you're going to be as a player, and the more ability, abilities you get to unlock. The trailer does a lot of things, but one thing we wanted to do was make sure we establish the tone and sort of darker elements that are in the game. And uh, you know, people yeah. see the rot and the cute characters, and they immediately fall in love with them, which is great. But oh. the opening cinematic with the meditation yeah. and kind of kind of battling these spirits we want nice. to use to kind of set that darker tone and and establish these uh, player is going to be, you know, ex exposed to some darker themes in the storytelling. We're targeting right. a holiday 2020 release. I remember that trailer. PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and the Epic Games Store. We're really excited for the game. Store. And yeah. in the meantime, enjoy the rest of the show. Ah, it's, it's pretty low. 
No longer will it float. Uh, in a rigid spirits. Ooh, uh, let's thanks for the video store. Well, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching the future games show. Else, maybe I'll check out that out. Great next gen coverage on GamesRadar.com throughout this week and beyond. Okay. And don't forget to check out our sister shows from the Gorilla Collective over the next few days right here on Twitch. Wait, wait, come on, come on, Nolan. It wouldn't be a game show without that, you know. We got one more thing. Can we do that one more one thing? One more thing. You are so right. Huh. Wait, are we in this one? No. Gorilla Collective already happened. But hey, Em, would you work with me again? Maybe in some kind of swashbuckling adventure where I play a roguish, mm -hmm. charming adventurer? Yeah, I think I, you know. I've been there and done that. Funny. Yeah, you're annoying ticks. What is this? Oh, God. That's messed up. Now, with over one million owners and releases on all these platforms, all right. Good stuff. Thanks for stopping by, dude. What is this? All right, I'm just sitting there sitting with the soul. Right, that was weird. He's like, ah, I'm standing up. What the heck? Oh my God, that's just. What the heck? What? Ah, ah, okay. Interesting. What am I seeing? That's so weird. Serial cleaner. Not serial killer, but serial cleaner. Okay. What the heck, man? Now. Well, that really does complete our showcase for 2020. Yeah, we hope you've had a great time watching and that you've seen something that you can look forward to. So we also just want to take a moment to thank our partners uh -huh. for helping put all of this together. But most of all, we want to thank you for watching. I'm Nolan North. And Ooh, I'm okay. Emily Rose. And this Hello. is Ben. Emily, if you will. The Future Game, game Show 2020. 2020. Which game show? Oh, now they're going to show the trailer of that. That trailer. Oh no, they're showing all these games now. Little game that's like Pigman. That's nice. The future of games is here? Here? Now! Is now. It just says is now. Yeah, all that. Unreal Engine stuff. New consoles, all these new games. Yeah. Hey, look at all this. Halo. Last of Us. Jeez. It's so loud at times. Thank you. Funk House. It's a little interesting fun game. Looks like it. Yeah. That's animated, of course. Those suits the force. That's what that looked like to me. Hey, they're saying. And there's all those games. Halo. Yep, of course, Halo. Not that. And Miles somewhere else. It's an Spider-Man game. Yeah. That game. I got what's called. I don't remember what that is. Future Game Show. Hey, that's it. There you have it. Yep, that was the final. That was the last one. So thanks for watching. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing. It's fun watching this. I don't know, hate when sometimes it's hard for me to say much of anything while watching this. Yep. That's it. Finally, it's over now. So thanks for watching. I can go back and watch uh, Gorilla Collective because I didn't see that earlier. They showed that already earlier, but I missed it. Yeah. I saw a piece of Game Show, Future Game Show. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just, well, it's not like a lot of talking and so close and so and so yeah, and it's, I don't know. It's, it's like I didn't have much of a reaction over that last one, which I did, so, but, yeah, it's cool seeing all those new games and such. Or I've been sitting here for, like, four hours checking out all of these. That's another reason mostly why, I guess. Yeah. So thanks for watching. That's it. That was Preacher Game Show 2020. Yeah. So that was a live reaction. She will be checking out that.